I've been blowing through the money like you grown trees. I've been f***ing on a French, say la vie. I just put them on a jet, now they all Italian. Way I'm dressed until I've been to a thousand dollars. I decided to break my bad habit of packing the night before, so I'm packing two nights before. Today is Thursday. Um, my flight isn't until Saturday. I do have two more days in New York. I'm not really packing right now. I'm more of just figuring out what items I want to bring, trying on some pieces, you know, creating some outfits. I'm only allowed to bring a carry-on for free, but I might have to pay for that check-in bag because it's not looking like all my stuff is going to fit. And I don't know why I have so much stuff because I'm only going to be there for three three days most of the items that I'm bringing are like thin pieces of fabric there's no reason it should be taking up that much space in my suitcase I'm really not trying to pay extra to bring in the check-in bag but if I have to I will I got a package from Timu they sent me over a couple of items I never shopped with them before it's like an affordable shopping app and they sell accessories clothing home decor they literally have everything on that website so I go through the package and just see if there's anything in there that I want to bring with me to Miami I mostly got accessories I'm gonna link everything that I got Pretty sure they're having a spring sale right now. I don't know if you guys be noticing, but I change my phone case pretty often. I like to match it to my outfit, so I'm always getting new phone cases. I ended up picking up this skull phone case. I got it in matte black. Super cute, super sleek. Love her. I actually forgot that I ordered so many brushes and I'm actually so happy that I did this because I was planning on washing my makeup brushes before I left but now I don't gotta wash them because I got a whole new set the bristles are so soft I can't wait to do my makeup with this the makeup brushes that I have currently they're like pink so now I have some that match my aesthetic this is literally me if I was a makeup brush I got another set of makeup brushes did I need them no but it was for aesthetic purposes they're like mini wands and I just thought they were so cute a lot of their jewelry was under three dollars and the quality is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. I ended up getting this double cross necklace. It kind of reminds me of Chrome Heart. The crosses have little sparkles on them and it's a lot smaller than my other cross pendants. I'm definitely going to bring that with me to Miami. This necklace I thought was so cool. It's another cross necklace, but it has a ring over it. And y'all know I had to get me some shade. These ones look a little similar to the hair that I have already. So I'm going to give these away to probably my sister or something. I've been loving matte shades recently. The actual frames are matte but the lenses are glossy and then these ones the frames are matte but the lenses are mirrored it's gonna be hard trying to figure out what shades i want to bring with me on my trip i have like 40 pairs of sunglasses and i also got some travel bags because i knew i was about to be traveling came with a set of three i already put one of them in my suitcase and i put a bunch of jewelry in there so i think i'm gonna put like some skincare products in here and then just plop it in my little carry-on this week my skin was breaking out so i started going to sleep with those pimple patches now the little pimples that i have are pretty much gone i just want to do a face mask to kind of just you know give my skin that last little rejuvenation before i leave once i get my hair done my skin is gonna look clear i don't know what's the science behind that my hair appointment is tomorrow i'm pretty much doing the same wig it's just a little bit longer this wig i think is like 26 maybe 28 inches the wig that i'm getting installed tomorrow is 30 inches and then i also get my lashes done tomorrow the set that i have right now is pretty full but i'm getting a whole new set so i have to take all my lashes off tonight the only other thing that i'm going to be doing today is my nails i have no idea what nail design i want to do but i'm gonna look on pinterest once i'm done i'm really excited to go to miami i feel like i feel like you're not really a college student if you don't go to miami for spring break i'm only going with one friend because that's pretty much all i have i know it's gonna be fun i hope i get good pictures i'm excited for the nice weather i'm just excited to travel the last flight i went on was in the summertime i guess i think like august september i'm overdue for another vacation I'm actually prepping for two trips right now at once because i'm going to miami for three days and then i'm coming home for one day and then i'm going to atlanta so yeah we're basically prepping for both of those trips right now i'll see y'all in 25 minutes i feel like my skills have definitely improved so i want to try a more complicated set i'm gonna start doing different shapes 
So I need to buy different nail tips because I only have tapered squares. So yeah, I'm just looking on my board right now for some inspo. I'm probably just gonna freestyle. I probably should have started doing my nails earlier because it'd be taking me like five hours to do my nails and I'm supposed to be going to the movies later. I have to go with my nails half done. It is what it is. Like, I really don't care that much. Take off the set that I have right. Oh my gosh, y'all, my hands is ashy. Let me see if this hand is bad. They both ashy. I think this is the last thing on my to-do list for today, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I'm lying. I have to drop off my wig. I always drop off my wig so last minute. And then later on tonight, I'm gonna do like a everything shower and I'm gonna just shave my entire body, legs and all. I can't remember the last time I shaved my legs. Time is 6 a.m. I feel like I'm whispering. I'm scared to talk loud, even though like no one can hear me. We got 5 a.m. just because I I was packed, but I wasn't like fully packed. Like my suitcase wasn't closed and I didn't pack up my makeup. Why my suitcase wasn't closing? I don't know. I feel like it's impossible for me to just travel somewhere with a carry-on no matter how long I'm staying. I'm bringing like a big tote bag, so I just took some stuff out of the suitcase and put it in there. So now everything fits. Thank God. That just means I cannot buy nothing while I'm out because there's no place to put it. I'm trying to figure out the airport fit. I'm thinking I'm just wearing this jumpsuit. And then I have got this hoodie from 1600 Club. He sent me over a couple of their hoodies. I think I'm gonna wear it. And this brand is actually located in Miami. My flight isn't until 11, so I'm gonna leave my house around 8.30. And the flight from New York to Miami is like three hours and like 15 minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna sleep. I, I usually sleep on flights and like just listen to music and stuff, but I think I wanna actually start editing this video. I wanna post as soon as possible because I haven't uploaded in a minute. It's kind of weird editing on the plane. I've only edited on a plane once. Like my face is just plastered on a screen and everyone can see. I just feel like it's so awkward, but it is what it is. Yesterday I got my hair, my lashes done. So we got a nice little fresh set. Oh, so good. I like my lashes better after I wash them for the first time, but I can't wash them until like tomorrow. So for my hair, I got this wig from our tresses. I went with loose wave because I didn't want anything too curly and then like I had to get 30 inch. So it's like at my butt, can y'all tell? The density is really full. Like I haven't had a really full wig like this in a minute. Water's so cold. I'll leave the hair information in the description box. Y'all did not see like the finished product on my nails and that's because I literally never finished my nails. Like they're still not done. I don't even have a top coat on my nails or nothing. I just decided to give up. So I was doing my nails on Thursday. I was like racing time because I was supposed to be going to the movies, which I did go to the movies. I ended up seeing Creed, which I actually enjoyed it. It was really good. I give it like a eight out of 10. And I'm not a movie person for real. So I feel like if I give a movie a high rating, it has to be good. I was doing my nails on Thursday. I was low key rushing and I didn't know what design I wanted to do. I ended up doing black and white acrylic and first of all, I don't know, but maybe it's just the brand of acrylic that I'm using, but I'm using like a like high quality brand. I use Valentino, but the black acrylic is so hard to work with. It's super runny. Besides the point, I was doing my nails. I ended up finishing one hand. Ooh, absolutely hated it. It just didn't fit the vibes that I was going for. It was giving very much rock star because I put like a lot of charms on it. It's just not the vibe I wanted for right now. I ended up literally taking off all my nails that same day. Last night, I just tried to quickly do a set. I started my nails at like 8 p.m. I got tired and I just gave up. I have to remember to put some earrings in before I leave. But when I tell you I packed up half of my jewelry collection with me, it's crazy. I have like 12 cross necklaces in my bag because I need them. Like I had enough time to paint the Frenchies, but I didn't add any designs. I'd even put a top coat or nothing. This is it. Nails is like the least of my worries. Like as long as my hair is done, what future say? Life is good. Life is good. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Ah. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. So I made it to my gate. It's currently 9.40. My flight doesn't board until 10.40, so I still have like an hour to just chill here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
I think I'm gonna just charge my phone because it's at 70. And I know I said I was gonna maybe edit on the plane, but I already know I'm not about to do that because, first of all, I'm sad because I don't have a window seat. Like, I love looking at the views. I'm gonna wait for her to stop talking. I don't have a window seat, so I'm not gonna be able to see the views. And we're gonna be like flying over the beach and stuff. Like, that's so upsetting. I think I'm sitting in an aisle seat, so I'm gonna feel so uncomfortable if I'm editing playing and everybody's looking at my face on the screen. So I'm probably not gonna edit. I'm probably just gonna listen to music, maybe take a little nap to energize myself for the rest of the day. Cause I will be outside later. We have an hour till we board. My friend texted me, she said she's going through security right now. So I'm just waiting for her. That's pretty much the vibes. I got here pretty quick. I thought this airport was a lot further, but it only took me 25 minutes to get here. And then scan and security, that only took like 25 minutes. Like this is, this was probably like the most smooth airport experience that I've had ever. Cause there's barely anyone here. Like the airport is pretty much empty and I'm enjoying it. It's so funny when people watch me talk to myself. Also, why are TSA workers mad rude? Like, they be so aggressive. It's too early to be yelling at me. Like, I understand you want things to go quick, but no need to raise your voice, babe. My shoes, I made these little crockies. They're like fake crocs, and then I just put spikes on them. I literally slept the whole entire flight, but the weather is actually not as hot as I thought it would be. But I guess it's because I haven't been in like direct sun. But yeah, we're about to get ready for the day. I'm so excited. <laughs> 